guys, thanks for tuning in. Quick little video. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Mos Nagants. I haven't talked about Mos Nagants in a while, and um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, uh, you know that uh, I've probably done more videos on Mos Nagants, or at least more videos where I've at least mentioned Mos Nagants than just about any other gun out there. And the reason being is pretty simple. I mean, you know, five plus years on YouTube, and during that entire time of talking about guns and talking about prepping, um, you know, these guns, uh, especially when I first started talking about them, I mean, you could pick these up for 99 bucks. In fact, you could pick them up in rough shape for, you know, like I think I used to get them online at like JG Sales for $69.99. Um, you know, in working condition, they were just roughed up. And, you know, when it comes to budget mindedness, when it comes to prepping, which are two things that I'm, I'm very big on on this channel, um, these just fit the bill, right? Uh, especially for that price range. I mean, you, it's just hard to beat. You're getting a, a full caliber rifle, uh, basically an old school battle rifle, uh, you know, for a hundred bucks or less. I mean, it's, it's really, really hard to beat, even though you are putting up with it being big and heavy and, you know, stiff bolt, stiff trigger. Yes, there's some cons there. There's some negatives, but overall for the price and for the fact that you're still getting a very, uh, tried and true design, a very functional rifle, it's, it's hard to beat. I mean, whether you're a prepper, whether you're on a budget, whether you're a budget prepper, doesn't matter. It, just all around a great rifle. But in the last couple of years, you know, the uh, Mosin Nagant bandwagon, well, a lot of people have jumped on it. And rightfully so. They're great rifles, like I said. I mean, especially for the price. But I've seen that drive the price up. And in fact, I was just looking around online, and the cheapest I could find just a stock 9130, okay, uh, was for about 150 bucks. I've seen them sell even more uh, in local gun shops. I've seen them pushing $200. And of course, the carbine versions, your M44s and stuff, are selling for $250, $275. Now, that's kind of expensive. So it begs the question uh, is it still worth it? Is it still worth it to pick up a Mosin Nagant? Now, ultimately, that's something you're going to have to decide for yourself. You have to make up your own mind on that. But I thought I'd do a little video on it and kind of give you my opinion on it. So, you know, to really make that decision, you have to compare this to another rifle that you would use to fill this same role as either um, a prepper gun or kind of a budget gun. And um, so I, I've got one here, what I would consider fits both of those. It, it definitely could be a budget prepper gun. And that is the Savage Axis. Now this is just a base model Savage Axis. This is not the Savage Axis XP or the Savage Axis 2 or anything like that with the upgraded trigger or anything like that. Just a base model Savage Axis that I threw a crappy little scope on. Not crappy, but you know, not the best thing in the world. You can pick one of these up without the scope, okay? In every caliber from 223, 270, 30 out 6, 308, whatever. All right, 243 uh, for about uh, brand new about 260 bucks. So um, let's say roughly you can pick one of these up for 160, eh, give or take. Let's say you find one online, pay for shipping, all that. You got 160 bucks in it, versus something here that costs 100 dollars more at 260. Um, is it worth it? Uh, you're going to get a better action. You're going to get a better trigger, even on a Savage Axis, okay, uh, which has a pretty rough trigger. It's still slightly better than most Nagant. Obviously, much lighter weight, more maneuverable, much more modern. Um, synthetic stock can take a little bit more of a pounding. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of pros here, guys, a lot of pros here, um, but you're spending $100 more. So is it still worth it to pick up one of these when for $100 more you can pick up one of these? Again, like I said, something you're going to have to decide. But in my opinion, yes. If you can still pick up a Mosin Nagant for $150 and pick up, uh, you know, a spam can full of 440 rounds of ammo for eh, 100 110 bucks, and for under $300 have a working rifle, ready to go, something that is milsurp, that you know works, that you know more than likely has been put into service at some point in time or another, and is tried and true, and pick up 440 rounds of ammunition, again, all for under $300, that's still a damn good deal. Um, look at it this way. Uh, that extra $100 you're going to spend on this. Yes, this is a good gun. I love these, and I would highly recommend these as budget guns, but I don't think just because something like this exists that it negates something like this. This is still, as I said, a fantastic rifle that you can pick up really cheap that will serve you for a very, very long time. In fact, I think history and evidence has shown that these guns right here will more than likely far outlast these guns right here. So, in the end, is it still worth it now that the price has gone up on the most in the got? I say hell yes. It certainly is. If you got a chance to pick one of these up and you haven't done so already, I highly recommend it. Yes, they're big. Yes, they're heavy. Yes, they got stiff trigger in action. But... 
They are fun as hell and they are great guns and I highly, highly recommend them. So there you go, guys. I personally think the most of the gun is definitely still worth it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.